Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Carback Brewing. They're out of Houston, Texas. This is their Carboptoberfest. So they incorporated their name with Oktoberfest. So, uh, and this is a five and a half percenter here, guys. Let me double check the can because that's what uh, Rate Beer has it at. Yes, 5.5%. Uh, it doesn't have the IBUs on here, I don't see. And we'll look on the bottom of her date and it says crafted on 060316. This was canned on, in, on June the 3rd on an Oktoberfest. Blows my mind that they are canning that kind of beer, that seasonable beer, that early in the year. So, blows my mind that they're doing that. Well, they probably had to do it in June because they were probably doing their pumpkin beers in July. Caps my ass when they rush the seasons that, that far ahead. Uh, I'd like to have an Oktoberfest that was done at the end of September or the 1st of October to be really fresh for that season fall air instead of something that was put in the can two or three months before that. Just me though. Uh, I don't have any commercial description on this. Uh, says on says on Rake Beer it's 25 IBUs. Doesn't have it on Beer Advocate, and Untapped has it at 20. So I don't know who to believe—is it 20 or is it 25? That's the thing about it, guys. Uh, a lot of misinformation out there, and when they don't put the IBUs on the can, uh, we don't know. So, and this is uh, uh, an Oktoberfest beer. So the food uh, parents for this was Danish German, of course. Glassware, pint, Becker, Nine, Tumbler, Stein, mugs, Seidel, Lager glass. This is my Lager glass. And this one appears it's going to be pouring a little lighter color than what the ones we had yesterday and the day before. Not quite as deep amber color. A little bit lighter color. Not to the golden macrolata color, but it is a little lighter than the one we had yesterday. Nice finger and a quarter of head on that. A lot of bubbles trimming up on it, guys. And this beer is not recommended for extended salaring, so another reason you would want to have it as fresh as you can in the season that it's meant to have. They did it in June, and you're drinking in November or December, it's been in a can six months. That's not fresh to me. So, Of course, Oktoberfest are meant to be drinking October, June, July, August, July, August, September, October. Four months in the can before October gets here. From the time it's put in a can. That's rushing it, guys. Get a nose on this one. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it, sir. I'm getting the grassy graininess on this one, like we did on the uh, on the Santa Fe. A little bit of caramel toppy, uh, bready malts, but it is a little grassier, grainier than the uh, than the one we did yesterday from. Uh, from St. Arnold's. Good looking beer. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. Very easy drinking. No alcohol taste whatsoever. Floral or herbal hops.
Not as much taste as I got from the St. Arnold yesterday. I believe I like that one just a little bit more than I do this one. But easy drinking, a great transitional beer to get your Malka Lager drinker friends uh, over to something with a little bit better quality, a little bit better taste, and not all those adjuncts and rice and corn in there and all that crap that they put in those beers. Very nice. Very, very nice. And maybe you should have done this one first because it's the lowest ABV uh, at 5.5, and then we went to 6, 6.25, then 6.6. .6. So uh, this is the lightest one. This is going to be closer in the ABV range that you're going to get from a Budweiser or Miller or Coors or something like that instead of a 6.2 or 6.6% like the other last two have been. So very nice. So let me know how taste it and uh, sip on it, and then we'll come back and see where it ends up. Hey guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Nice lacing. Not quite as nice as the one from St. Arnold, but it has left a little lacing on the glass. Uh, very easy drinking. A great transitional beer, guys. If you're working out in the yard, done in June, you'll be having this in the summertime. Or if you don't get it till fall, if you're out chopping wood or raking leaves or whatever, you come in and have this, especially at 5.5%, and probably have one or two of them and go back out and do what you were doing, of course. If you're out there raking leaves, you're not going to hurt yourself too bad. You might be able to have three or four. By the chug. Decent beer, guys. Decent beer. Not up to the quality that I had from St. Arnold yesterday, but a decent beer. A very well made beer. Uh, I'm just not a fan of them. Canning this in June, June the third. On top of that, first couple of days of June. So, and I'm reviewing this on the uh, 9th of September. So it's already been in the can, June, July, August, September. We're just we're just in the uh, the ninth of September, and it's already been in the can more than three months already. So, uh, if you're going to have an, an Oktoberfest beer in October. You're looking at four months in the can before you even get to that seasonal month. So, that's not a fan of that, guys. They, they push these seasons. They really do. So, uh, for me, guys, I'm going to <laughs> as much as I love these guys at Carbach, uh, I'm going to give this a B, which is a six. Uh, it's not a fan of them canning it that far in advance. Uh, it's just me. It's just my OCD. And like I said, I like St. Arnold's a little better than this one. A little bit sweeter, a little bit more nuttier, a little bit more toffee and caramel taste than this one has. So, uh, About the four that I've done, I would probably think this one would probably be number four. So, uh, sorry guys, that's the way it is. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 83 in their good range. Over to Rate Beer, they say 50 overall and 89 in the style. And our final check in is an untapped, and they're giving it a 3.65. And I'm giving it a 3.50 according to their scale. So we're close. We're within 15 points there. So be beer to me, guys. So if you've had this one from Carbac, they're Carboctoberfest. Let me know what you think, guys, and let's dig something maybe a little heavier out tomorrow. Maybe an IPA, a double IPA, a stout. Come on back tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you together. See you then.